Right, good evening. Uh, you join me back down on the Dorset Stour just outside Blanford, uh, and tonight I'm chasing Bream. Uh, I'm out on the proper gear, pound and three quarter test curve rods, 12 pound line, braided oak links, because there's an outside chance of a big chub or maybe a carp. Maybe. Very outside chance. Uh, fishing boilies and pellet, simply because I couldn't be bothered buying any more bait this week and I've got loads of it in the garage. Uh, I'm in a swim I've never fished before, uh, so we're giving it a go, but I did spook a couple of bream when I was ledding around trying to find the gravel earlier. Found the gravel, it's all quite close in in there. Quite deep, it feels sort of like six, seven foot deep, so it's a good channel, onto gravel, looks quite good. Uh, that's about it really. I've uh, got another rod set up here, which I'll pop around uh, trying to stalk some chub with later maybe. Uh, wind these in later, go out for an hour, just see if I can't get something just before dark. Uh, and that's it really, update done. Uh, if I catch anything, I'll show you. Uh, and if I don't, then I'll see you in the morning just before I go stalking again. Right, I need a cup of tea, I shall speak to you. Okay, there's the first of a brace. This is a 6.6 six bream. And wait for the good one. Be good. Be good. I'm spawned out and everything. How's about that? For a chub. Five pound, 10 ounces. Thank you very much. Right, good morning. Uh, so, as you've seen, it's not been a bad, more, uh, bad night after all. Ended up with four fish, I uh, had three bream, biggest one was 6.6, six, that chub, five pound 10. And uh, yeah, I've had very little sleep though. Uh, I had a lot of indications off small chub, uh, but yeah, it's definitely been worth it. Uh, now then it's coming up on seven o'clock in the morning now, so I'm gonna quickly get my overnight kit up into the car, and then I'm gonna grab a stalking kit, disappear that way, and try and catch myself some more chub out the fast water up by the weir pool. Give it a couple of hours and then go home. Hopefully, you'll see some of that. If not, it's been bad. See you in a bit. There we go. Right, good afternoon. It is Friday night and you join me back down on the Hampshire Haven. Uh, chasing Chubb again. Uh, different stretch, a uh, bit shorter. So I haven't had so far to walk, but I've only brought down my chair. I've got just maggot with me and I've been getting plagued by minnows. So I'm now moved into a swim, which looks very nice. Feeding with a feeder at the moment. I haven't even got a hook link on and I'm going to be fishing maggot and hoping for a chub. So we'll see how it goes. That's it, update done. I will see you if I catch anything big. Ciao for now. Think I should have fed this one some more maggots. £4.15.
Okay. Just coming up on nine o'clock. This is chub number eight at four pound twelve. Uh, it's probably going to be my last one because he's just come from right down the bottom of the swim. Well, I'm going to get him back. Speech in a bit. Right, good evening. It is Friday night and you join me back down on the Dorset Stour just outside Blanford. Uh, I'm in the same swim that I was in two weeks ago where I had that nice catch of bream and chub and I'm hoping to do the same basically. Uh, main differences are this time I've brought my lighter gear because I was overgunned, let's be brutally honest. Uh, it's going to be a bit wild and windy later so the camera's going to be getting put away in a minute. And you probably won't see too much getting recorded tonight. But it's looking good. With the weather like this, I might even be hopeful for a bite during the day. Eh, uh, that's enough waffle really. Right, wish me luck. Okay, not a bad night. This one came in at six pounds. And this one came in at six pounds and 11 ounces. Biggest bream of the year. Right, I'm gonna get him back. Right, good morning. As you can see, it was a good night. Uh, yeah, so that's six pound to six pound 11. Uh, both came in the early hours of the morning, uh, both onto little half boily hook baits. Uh, there's quite a few people fishing down here this year, which is uh, interesting. Uh, probably due to COVID and the lockdown and everything else, uh, everywhere seems to be busy. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be coming back down here up until around about September time now simply because the fish aren't as big as I'm after. Uh, my target is an eight pounder. That 6.11 is the biggest I've heard of for a while. So if I give them a few months and a little bit of food, perhaps they might grow big enough. Right, that's it. I'm going to start packing up now. It is eight o'clock uh, and uh, yeah, it's not going to be a daytime bite. The slugs everywhere it's horrendous if mark pictures if you were here you'd be screaming like a girl right ciao for now right good evening it is tuesday night i'm down on Blam uh, on the dorset stour just outside blamford uh, we've got a blamford and district angling club evening match i've got four balls of ground bait in there ready and waiting to go in uh, and we're going to give it a bit of a go right i'll move this a bit and hopefully you'll see me catching fish but I'm in a bit of a rush because I'm about to run out of time. That'd be all in. Right, good afternoon. It's Friday afternoon. I'm back down on the Hampshire Haven. This time I've got my barbel kit with me and I'm giving it a proper go. Uh, I'm fishing pellets at the moment on a feeder. Uh, same swim I was in on opening day. Uh, and I'm getting some indications already. I've been here about a half an hour, 40 minutes. And it's looking good. If I get anything big, I'll show you. Well, if I catch anything, I'll show you. This wind's proving problematic for filming, so I'll see you later.
Okay, first fish of the day, three pound five ounces. Uh, hopefully, they're going to get a bit bigger than this, like double the size. I'm going to get her back. We'll go from there. Speak to you in a minute. Well, this has made my day. Five pound and six ounces. Thank you very much. Right then, it's just coming up on half past eight. It's not been a bad night to be fair. Well, bad afternoon. I've had two chub, lost one. Uh, and I've definitely learnt a few things for next time I come down. I think the natural baits are definitely the one at this time of year. Just simply because uh, I had a lot more bites when I was fishing maggot and caster. Oh well. Oh, he says. Oh my word. Okay, so the rig's really simple. I've got a, a cage feeder, which I'm filling up with pellet mix. Uh, quite a strong fluorocarbon hook link to a size 12 or a size 10, and I'm super gluing a couple of pellets onto the head. Easy peasy. take this before I go home. Four pound two ounces. Thank you very much. I ate bream at times. <laughs> 